Hot Mod Your Guitar. In today's Hot Mod, I'm going to take apart this fella, a humbucker. And let me tell you before I get any further, this all goes horribly wrong. Now, I could have faked it and made out that it all went great, but one, that's dishonest, and two, part of what I'm trying to show you in this is that there are dangers in taking apart a, a humbucking pickup and that really you should never do it unless you've got a very good reason because you could end up with a pickup that's simply dead and beyond deck because <laughs> you could end up with a pickup that's uh, you'll see in a minute why I'm totally phased by this uh, enjoy because um, <laughs> to be honest I didn't before you start work on the pickup, it's a good idea to secure it in some way so that it's not going to move around while, you, while you're trying to work on it. I've just taken a pair of adjustable grips, put some gaffer tape on the jaws to prevent it scratching, and just gently clamp it like that, you see? Now, because of the weight of, of the wrench, the spanner, then this is not easily going to move, which is enough for what we're trying to do. Now, there's, more than one way of getting through the two solder blobs that hold the cover onto the base plate. Uh, one way is to use a soldering iron. Uh, if you are going to do that you'll need at least 40 watts. This one's actually an 80 watt because if you use the smaller sort of soldering iron of maybe 30 watts that's typically used for printed circuit boards and the like, something about this size, uh, if you do use one of those, you probably overheat the pickup in the attempt to get it, the uh, metal hot enough to melt the solder. So best not to do that because you could short out the pickups. Um, another way of doing it is to use a chisel. And that's the way I prefer to do it because that way you're not going to uh, apply heat to the pickup itself, not in the first instance. So basically you've got to line the chisel up with the line of the casing and then just gently work it in. You could also try using a Stanley knife but if you are going to use a Stanley knife be very very I think this one's gone actually. Be very careful that the blade doesn't suddenly break and uh, that you then hurt yourself. Um, equally I mean there are more brutal ways of getting these covers off and one is to put a screwdriver into the crack each side and then suddenly twist it but if you do that, you will um, you'll grossly distort, shall we say, the cover, and it's very unlikely to be of use again. Now, I think I have succeeded in getting through the two solder blobs. Uh, we'll find out by me attempting to remove the cover. Finally, it is starting to move. Can you see that the screws are actually lower? in the casing now and the back is starting to lift. Um, I've not had one quite this reluctant to move before and I'm just having to manipulate it with my hands and hope that bit by bit it will start to ease out, which it is. God it's tough though. And this is the problem, you don't really know what you're up against until you've taken the pickup apart. And so you can be in for a nasty surprise. And Really, in a way, I'm glad this one isn't going quite to plan because it gives you some idea of what you could be up against. There you go. Ah. <laughs> now I think we see what the problem was. Can you see it's really quite heavily potted in wax? I think we have to accept the fact that although I can get this pickup looking quite nice, um, because it's encased in so much wax, it's probably not a suitable candidate for custom wiring because getting this much wax off without damaging the wiring I think is going to be impossible. So, um, really, I'm afraid I'm going to have to give up on this one. So, in true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I made earlier. In that this always was uh, an open um, pickup. It never has had a cover on it. So any pretense that I've um, unsoldered it would be totally disingenuous. I've also leapt ahead a bit and I've cut through the tape that was wound round the pickup, uh, the two coils, which um, has a function in keeping moisture out, but it would also prevent us taking the two coils off. So now I can progress to 
sorry, line driver, to taking the four screws that retain the coils off the back. And then we can take the assembly apart, if we're lucky and nothing else goes wrong for me. I know it sounds a bit of a cop-out, but one thing hopefully I have sort of conveyed is that if you know you're on a hiding to nowhere, then just stop and reconsider the situation. In the case of that other pickup, I, I just don't think it's worth trying to take it apart because I don't think it's going to survive that kind of treatment. So it's better to take it on the chin and go, OK, it isn't going to work out. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I just say it's not advisable. That's really all that holds the humbucker together. Two screws in each coil. I'll just hold this together. Now then, having cut through the tape, you see, I can just turn those over like that because the wiring's down this end and there's the magnet. Now if you're taking the magnet out, it's a good idea to make a note of which way up it was because it will equally well go back the other way. But if you put it back the other way, then the magnetic polarity of the pickup is reversed. And so even if you wire it exactly the same way, it will now be out of phase with the other pickup if it was previously in phase. I hope that makes sense because you see there's a north and there's a south side to this magnet. And if you turn it up the other way, then which coil has got north at the top and which coil has got south at the top will then be reversed, which is exactly the same thing as reversing the wiring around the coils. Two coils, one Alnico bar magnet, back plate, uh, the slugs on one side, the fixed slugs and the adjustable pole pieces on the other going through a metal plate. That's uh, all there is to it. The next stage if one is going to custom wire this thing is to carefully remove the existing wiring and replace it with a, a four core wire uh, with individual connections uh, for the two coils. Uh, it's probably best if I just demonstrate that with a diagram because I don't think you're really going to get the sense of what goes on uh, if I just stand here waffling and applying a soldering iron. What I would advise you to do if you're taking a pickup that has a cover apart um, is to clean up the areas where the solder is and then when you finish working on it, reassemble it, resolder the cover because if the pickup came with the cover it's to protect it from moisture and if you leave the cover off and you sweat at gigs and stuff probably, I don't know, three, four low years down the line, I'm afraid it's probably going to short out. All bleak stuff.